how to create document on your phone the first thing is you have to uh, go to your play store and download the what's called WPS search for the WPS and install it so I already have it on my phone so then you can after installing it then you open it so now let's talk about the environment of this thing if you are using it for the first time it has you to sign in so you can sign in with your uh, with your gmail so when you sign in with your gmail so it's going to log in so it helps you to synchronize it with a cloud at least with this one i have the free uh, space of one gig you can upgrade this to to pro if you don't have much money so you can just leave it like this so now let's just talk about this you can do a setting from your few provide you can rename it you can set a logo with it and if you want to sign out you want to sign, uh, log in in another account you can also do that so you log out from this place and you sign in with another uh, gmail so this helps you to synchronize it and helps you to uh, fill all your documents in any any devices that you are in okay so now this place show you the files all your files all your files on your phone okay so you did your device the space you have on your device they receive your downloaded your document and what have you so you have the recent all the works that you have just done uh, it's going to show EF as from the recent then you have the discoveries also other things that the WPS offer apart from the, uh, creating a document you can convert your documents from one form to another you can scan it you can use even using the file transfer to another phone directly you can back it up on the WPS cloud you can manage your PDF you can extract your pages from the PDF you can animate your pdf and many more so you can do it from this place so that is discovery uh that place then on your left hand side on these three are parallel lines when you click on it so these are other things that you can do you have the files you can scan your documents you can scan it and turn it to microsoft word and turn it to you know, jpeg or pdf you can also transfer your document directly to the computer so anything you delete can also be found here from the design cycle bin and the tools a lot of tools you can also use it as for students you have some of the advantages if you log in as a student okay you can also get a free wps for your laptop so that whatever you do here because you have signed in on your laptop you can which your wps on the laptop you can also just log in with the same account so all what you have done here can also be fine that so it make your work being synchronized together so now let's quickly talk about how to create a document so i'm going to click on this plus when i click on this plus i have create new create new you can create doc you can create that doc for the document in the microsoft word we have the ppt for the powerpoint we have sls for the microsoft excel so you can have test you can scan and you can create a memo so for today what i'm going to explain is how to use is to create a document in microsoft word so now i'm going to click on doc so i have most used i have the blank i have the other templates uh, the letters and the resumes you can if you want a template you can just click on the templates no, you have to connect to internet so that you can download it okay click on the blank so once you click on the blank so you're going to open it now you have the pop-up for the ai see so the ai will automatically generate test for you don't need to think of what should i type on my document so now the brainstorm okay just tell the ai give it a little questions and it's going to give you a write-up have the outline the to-do list you can ask the ai to create a to-do list for you or to give you a meeting agenda just giving it its short questions so it's going to reply to you and bring it as a word okay so we have more you have more you can have a more more help you to write more test Okay. Now, for now, I just go through the environment of the uh, WPS. Okay, so whenever you are typing or whenever you are making a changes, you can always be clicking on the arrow of uh, 
of the save or you save first you know when you are typing you have to save okay so this is arrow of the uh, floppy disk and it always uh, telling you to save so now on the on the bottom so i have these two on my left hand side these uh, the, uh, the, uh, the boxes on my left hand side on i click on it so you're going to uh, all the eating eating tools is going to pop it up so that is how you have it on the normal microsoft word you have the home the file the insert you can scroll you have the few you have the review you have the pen and what have you so beside it i have the uh, uh the keyboard so if i want to show the keyboard so it's going to bring out the keyboard or hide the keyboard so whenever you want to to type so you just click on show or hide keyboard so all these tools are tools that you need to edit your your document so this box is just the menu that show you all the tools that you need for the editing of your document okay the next one is just telling you about the fonts the fonts are the change of the font increase the font decrease the font then the bold then uh, the color the or the highlights for the tests and you have the fonts color so i have this one for the uh, paragraphs the uh, for the paragraph the alignment and uh, for bullets and numberings and you have this one for the format copy the format and insert the image and the uh, other one like uh, creating a table comment and drawing and what have you so i will be picking them one after the other to explain how to use them i'm going to use ai to generate a test let me just brainstorm something so write a brainstorm about let me just simply say write a simple uh, permission letter permission letter to be absent to be absent to be absent in school for three days okay so i just write that then as it goes so let's wait the AI has generated a test for me so i can append it so once i append it so it bring it back to my documents for me to you can also edit it when you are done so now this one showed me uh the select i have almost about 494 characters so now if i want to save as i'm working so i can click on this uh this icon to save this icon beside the floppy disk is undo so in case i made a mistake i can quickly do change to that Okay, so I have done once I'm done with the document. So now let me save. So I want to save. So I click on that. So it asks me where to save to. By default, it's going to save on WPS Cloud. So I can change where I'm saving it to either the, through the Google Drive. I can add more cloud storage or my uh, my device. If I'm saving it to my device, so I will click my device. I have my phone, my documents. So yes, I'm saving it to my document inside my doc uh, inside my phone. So I can give it a name that I'm saving it with. So I can say I'm saving it with permission letter. Permission letter. So I'm saving it with this format. So if I want to encrypt it, that means I want to put a password so that is encryption so that means that before anybody can open it has to ask for the password so just cancel that no i'm not encrypted so now i'm using the format i'm saving it with the doc because always save it with a pdf maybe once you have done with it so you save it with pdf or with test or any other format that we have there so once you click on save it has been saved to my documents inside my phone so with this uh, double click to zoom or you click and drag it to zoom so that you can see it clearly in the next class i'm going to explain how to use all these tools okay right from the home how to increase the font size or to italics to change the test color to highlight to change the uh, the font spacings and uh, 
the files how you can export and you can uh, you can send this to your computer or extract something from that as we put a image the table the signature so you can do it perfectly on your phone on your phone even if you don't have a computer what you can do on your computer even on your phone you can do it better you can just follow my page to learn more